Bet you can't clone me, Kobe. I bet you I can. Challenge is accepted. To clone you, I need to figure out exactly where you were. So I saw you're at an army base, and then I saw in the background it says Battlefield Vegas. So I typed in Battlefield Vegas in Google, and I found the exact address to where the tank that you licked was. With my cloning kit in my hand, I drove 14 hours all the way to the army base until I started seeing armored vehicles. I knew I was at the right spot as I seen Hummers, a bunch of different armored vehicles that you've seen in wars. It's actually insane to see. But I knew it was going to be super hard to get in there. As it's all barbed wired up There was helicopters All different types of war machinery It was insane Once I got there There was like a thousand different tanks All over the place But I had to find out the exact one that you licked The first tank that I came by I knew it was not the one you licked And I knew you probably wouldn't make it that easy Where the first entrance tank would be the one that you licked I saw it was yellow So I knew it wasn't the one I then started walking around the whole army base And inspecting every single vehicle and tank this one wasn't it because it didn't have the red diamond on it. So I kept walking around the army base to look for that tank with the red and white diamond on it so I can swab your DNA right off the top of it. I knew I was getting close. This tank was almost it, but I looked to the side. It had a yellow and blue diamond on it. Then these tanks over here with the helicopter, I knew that wasn't it. I kept walking. I was almost giving up. I couldn't do it anymore. It was 90 degrees outside. It's extremely hot, but I was not going to ever give up. I then seen some soldiers outside in a tank and asked them if they've seen a girl lick a tank anywhere. And they said, yes, it's right over I there. I knew this was the right tank as I had the white and red diamond on it, the same one that you licked. I then swabbed your DNA right off the top of that tank and put it back inside my DNA grade tube and went back to my laboratory in Los Angeles. Once I got back to my lab, it was time to clone your DNA. That's your DNA inside my chemical grade tube on that Q-tip. I then had my assistant give me an agar plate. I placed your DNA inside the agar. I then had my assistant give me blue hydrogen phosphate. What this does is going to be able to sterilize the full DNA so I can extract every single molecule so it's an easy cloning process. I then placed the sterile DNA underneath my microscope and put it on a 100x zoom so I can see exactly inside to make sure the DNA was moving around and yes, it was moving around perfectly and ready to be cloned. I then had my assistant pass me a bottle of Cytochrome 437 solution. What this does, it diffuses the whole DNA so I can colonize it extremely easy. I then place it back in a mutual cylinder and put everything inside my chemical grade DNA tube. I then place your DNA in a micro centrifuge for 30 days straight. What this does is spins at rapid speeds. Right there is the minute and timer and the other side is how fast you want it to go. You want it to go faster if there's more DNA to colonize. You want it to go slower if there's not. That's you after only 30 days. You're a tiny little membrane and in a few years I will have another version of you for my Myself.